Achievements. You know them, I know them. I assume everybody here has achieved some kind of achievement at one point. Nowadays, you see achievements in every video game. Xbox achievements, Steam achievements, PlayStation trophies, and even mobile games have achievements. Nintendo doesn't give a rat's ass about them for some reason, but regardless, when did this all start though? Achievements on platform stand in 2005, when Microsoft first announced the Xbox 360 at E3. Being the successor to the original Xbox, the Xbox 360 would introduce new games, new features, and most importantly, the gamer card, which was your user profile. You had your gamer tag, reputation, a gamer zone to show if you're casual or competitive, and your gamer score, which was basically how many achievements you've earned. Every game that used a disc on Xbox must have a total of a thousand gamer score points, and these points would be spread across as many achievements the base game had. On PlayStation, they have trophies instead of gamer score points, starting from bronze being the easiest, then silver, and then the hardest, gold. There's also a platinum trophy that is awarded to those who complete every achievement in the base game, basically the equivalent of getting all a thousand gamer score points. On Steam, their achievements are based on how many players have earned it, and this is shown as a percentage. If an achievement earned is under 10%, it is considered as a rare achievement. It's worth noting that Xbox and PlayStation also do this, so Steam achievements are a bit bare bones in comparison. Now that I've talked about achievements you may be familiar with, I want to talk about achievements in Flash games. Because did you know, there's a website where Flash games had achievements. And I'm not talking about achievements in game, there was, and still is, a website where you can earn achievements similar to what we see today. If you know this website, let me take you down memory lane. If you don't, well let me introduce to you a website called Congregate. If you search congregate.com on your browser, you get instant access to a plethora of games. I would argue that this was the best website to play Flash games. Not miniclip, not even addicting games. I think the only websites that would come close to Congregate at their prime was Armor Games and Newgrounds, but regardless all those sites are up there. However, nowadays I would say that Congregate is a husk of his former self, and what better way to talk about its rise and fall by starting from the very beginning. In October 2006, two siblings, Jim and Emily Greer, co-founded Congregate, a new web gaming portal with a unique vision for browser games. Later in March 2007, Congregate would move from its alpha phase to the beta phase, opening the website to the public and offering users 300 Flash games to play at the time. Aside from playing Flash games, there were chat rooms where you could talk to other people on the website, a forum for deeper discussion, and a leaderboard for some games. If you were a game developer, you could have uploaded your game on the website and gathered some revenue. On top of that, there was also a monthly and weekly contest where you could win a cash prize, if it was popular. So Congregate provided a lot of incentives to have your game uploaded there. Most importantly, there were achievements. On Congregate, they're called badges, and you had to be a registered user on the site to earn them. There are four types of badges. Easy, Medium, Hard, and Impossible, awarding 5, 15, 30, and 60 points respectively. You may ask, what are these points used for? Well, they were used to level up your account, similar to a Steam profile for example. You then may ask, what are these levels for? Basically, bragging rights. The person responsible for making them was a guy called Greg McClanahan. Apparently, Greg was the third person registered on the site just after Jim and Emily Greer. For a game to have badges, the developer must implement Congregate's API, which allows their game to have a leaderboard, to sell virtual items, and also be eligible for a 10% payout bonus in the contest I mentioned before. Greg would see the statistics from the game's data and decide what would be a good achievement task. A name and image would be designated, and after some testing, the badge would be launched on the website. With this new approach to web games, Congregate had a successful journey early on. For example, in 2008, Congregate raised $9 million in capital from numerous investors, one of them being Jeff Bezos. That's right, THE Jeff Bezos, former Amazon CEO, who knew investing in a web gaming portal would lead to a space pissing contest. Also, Congregate was acquired by GameStop in 2010, and then in 2013, they started to branch out to mobile gaming, publishing games like Run and Adventure Capitalist. 
Everything was looking good up until 2014, when Jim Greer announced that he would be leaving Congregate to pursue other ambitions, leaving his sister as the only remaining founder and now CEO of Congregate. This wasn't a bad move because Emily was still there, but during this time console and PC gaming was getting more popular than Flash games. 2017 rolls by and Congregate gets acquired by Modern Times Group, closing a deal for $55 million. They are currently the owners of Congregate, as well as managing esports businesses like ESL and Dreamhack, and other gaming companies like Ninja Kiwi and Inno Games. In that very same year, Adobe announced that Flash Player will reach its end of life on the last day of December 2020, looming an unavoidable end. Since Flash was going to be discontinued, Congregate pursued another way to publish games. In November 2018, Congregate released a digital storefront called Cartridge, promoting premium paid games and free browser-based games, which at first didn't sound like a bad idea. However, this meant it would be competing with other established digital storefronts like Steam and Epic Game Store, which came out a month later. In 2019, Congregate would announce that Emily Greer would be leaving the company. She would then later be the co-founder and CEO of Double Loop Games, focusing on mobile games. Finally, in July 2020, Congregate announced the discontinuation of game submissions in preparation for the end of Adobe Flash Player. They started to disable all chat rooms, non-gaming forum sections, and laying off employees. One of the employees was Greg. They laid off Greg, guys. That's like taking Greg out of Congregate and you get Connate. This just cemented the fact that Congregate wasn't going to be the same place like it once was. So how's Congregate doing nowadays? Well, you can still go to the website and play HTML5 games, but you can't play Flash games anymore, obviously. If you do, Congregate tells you to install this extension called Supernova, which doesn't work at all for me, and if it does, you can't earn any badges. Their digital storefront, Cartridge, is still online. Indie developers are uploading their games on there, but not frequently. There also doesn't seem to be any notable games featured since 2019, most likely overshadowed by other digital storefronts. Basically, things aren't looking good for Congregate nowadays, and you wouldn't believe what Congregate's been doing recently. In July 2021, Congregate announced a new website called Congregate.io, and if you go on this website, you're going to be disappointed when you see this. They are promoting NFT cosmetics for their published games. Holy fucking shit. Who the hell is buying this? They even made an NFT for the Companions. If you don't know what a Companion is, they were introduced in 2014 and were digital pets that you earned by completing the badge of the day. You can use Companions in some games and every week there would be a new Companion on rotation so it was a new thing to collect. The worst part of this is that Stabby here wasn't in the original companion rotation, so Congregate decided to milk that idea. Also, it sold out, and from this picture before, it looks like there were 5,000 available, so that means that there are 5,000 suckers who bought the Stabby NFT. Look how Congregate butchered themselves. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Congregate has been around for 15 years now, and I recall the first time I visited the website in August 2007. Even though I played Flash games before, and at the time had a PlayStation 2, Congregate introduced to me a wide library of games and challenging achievements. The Greer siblings did a lot for Flash game creators, and it's a shame that Congregate is what it is today, though it was inevitable. Originally, I wanted to make another video series after this one, where I collect all of these badges on Congregate using Blue Maxima's Flashpoint, showcasing Flash games over the years. I decided not to do it, it's a big commitment, so I just wanted to say thank you to all of the Flash game developers over the years. Some developers have disappeared and moved on with their lives, but there are a small few who carried on as I see their games on Steam. Thank you for making fun and inspiring Flash games that are cemented in history, and keep doing what you guys do best. Anyways, it's time to wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe took some of you down memory lane. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. I'm going to try to upload some experimental videos, so I hope you enjoyed those as well. And as always, I'll see you guys next time and catch you guys later. Take care.